Christmas is a time of year enjoyed by most. We wanted to find out how and why people celebrate this holiday and any issues it can bring up. Firstly, we spoke to a non-religious family to learn more about their experience of Christmas. I spent Christmas with my family and usually my son and his girlfriend come home and we have a really nice meal and we have an absolutely gorgeous day together. I always feel financial pressure around the Christmas per period because the build up to it is just consume, consume, consume and people seem to get more and more hectic and stressed. So yeah, the financial pressure is there but I'm quite strong about how much I've got to spend and um, I try and ignore the pressure as much as possible. Yeah, there's a bit of financial pressure at Christmas, but I love spending money on the kids and, you know, worry about it in the new year like everyone else, I suppose. For Christmas, we usually open presents in the morning and then we listen to the music for a long time. And then afterwards, in the, usually in the evening, we have a lovely Christmas dinner made by Dad. I do the cook cooking at Christmas. It's uh, one of my favourite meals to cook. Uh, I always like to spend a little bit more money on the ingredients and make a lot of food, try and keep everyone happy. Next up we decided to speak to some students from the universities in Manchester to see what they do during the festive period, whether religion plays a part and whether they feel the need to be more charitable around this time of year. I'm going to be celebrating Christmas by going home and see all my family and go to my nana's house and like just eat loads and have fun. Um, <clears throat> but obviously I'll be going home to see my mum and my family. Um, yeah, I'll just be spending Christmas at my mum's. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. This year at Christmas, I'll be spending it with my boyfriend's family. Uh, they look after me and they'll make me a really nice dinner and we'll have lots of nice presents, I hope. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I've done a few travel things over Christmas, like give like change to homeless people, and maybe occasionally buy them like a burger from McDonald's and something like that. I didn't know what this is. Uh, my obvious Christmas memory would have to be about five or six years ago, uh, whenever I went to Australia with my family. Um, done this whole trip camper van. It was amazing. But on Christmas Eve, uh, we went to a water park, and the camper van got broken into. I mean, everything was wiped. We had nothing, like money, all our presents. They went through our clothes and everything just to try and find something. Um, but the next day, you know, us a bit down with all our possessions stolen. Um, the family we were staying with just put the best effort in to make it like the best Christmas ever. Um, we had a barbecue, went to the beach. And because we didn't really have any presents, it was just about having fun and like chatting just having a really good time and yeah, it was absolutely amazing. It sort of just proves you don't really need material things at Christmas to have fun, so yeah, loved it. Uh, Christmas isn't really religious for me. Um, my nan pretends to be Catholic, so kind of, she's definitely not, um, but none of us are religious in any way, so it's more about just like, having fun and being with your family. Christmas to me is a religious event as I'm a Christian but um, I don't go to midnight mass or anything I should probably do that but so what I do instead is I say a prayer to myself say well to God and say like happy birthday Jesus and thank him for all the nice presents and everything that I've received this year. As a Christian festival that is pretty widely celebrated we wanted to talk to someone with another religious point of view. Yeah, I'm a Muslim. I'm a Sunni Muslim. I've been all my life. Uh, my family have been Muslims from all three, from my great grandparents all the way from Pakistan to myself now. So hopefully that still continues as well when I have my own kids as well. More people to see is like a day to get presents, a day to get drunk, and a day to get be together with their families. I don't think the religious aspect of that. I think it went a long time ago. I'll be very honest with you. Not really celebrate Christmas, but with me and myself, me and my family get together where we have like a massive feast ourselves. We get together, have a lot of fun. It's like us, we don't celebrate Christmas because we don't go to the church or anything like that. A lot of people do, 
But with us, we still get to go have a massive feast and enjoy ourselves. Like what we usually do is watch these standards of coronation street. Like a lot of people do on Christmas, but it's like a day togetherness. But a lot of other Muslims just see it as any normal day and they don't really care about it. With my family, we're different. For Christmas, I give it to all the Muslim maids because that's the ones I follow. The other ones, you don't know where the money's going to. But you can say the same thing about my where the money I give it to. You don't know, do you? But like I said, because I know what they've told me, it's going to go to people who are like living in poor conditions. They're going to get money to get food and everything. And I don't like seeing, with me, I don't like to see people suffer. So I would always help people. Like if it means I leave a bit of money, I don't really care. Seeing someone ha getting happy and a smile on their face will make me happy. Finally, we spoke to Darren, a homeless man of six years. We wanted to hear about his experiences and times being outside during the cold of Christmas. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm an ex, I'm an ex, well, I'm an alcoholic, I'm an ex-drinker. Um, this time, actually, I, I've been dry, I've been dry now three years, and, and I actually start, I got did it on the streets. It's hard. I mean, I, I, I did um, like four, five years ago. Uh, I was on the streets and it was like three inches in snow. I woke up one morning and I was literally covered in snow. It was just the top part of my body that was actually no snow on me. Uh, and I said to myself that I'm, I'm not doing this again, you know, I've got to find something. We also talked about the role Manchester City Council had for those without homes and whether there was any extra help given around the time of Christmas. Everybody else. Not, don't help yourself, help everybody else. And, and that's, not, that's not the way to go about things. You know, I mean, they're cutting the nose to spite the face. That's what I see. And uh, it's all money, it's all money at the end of the day.